And welcome to another episode of RC Nene Hacks, episode 2. There you have it guys, those are your top 9, top 8 new hacks for you to explore. Wow! Hi guys, welcome again to another vlog. This is me, Nay. If you're new to my channel, please do not forget to like and subscribe. We are now in our second episode of Artsy Nene Hacks and I'm so excited to share all of you what I have to do today. Um, again, if you want to know more mommy stuff, parenting guides and hacks, please do visit my website at www.funny.mom. Okay, so right now we are almost going to start our school year for 2020 to 2021. And so my second episode of Artsy Nene will involve mostly about organizing again your homeroom classroom. So that's what I'm going to be sharing with you all today. If you have other suggestions and comments, please don't forget to put it down below. And also, if you have questions or you're interested for partnership and collaboration, please do email me at funnamomph at gmail. So, I'm so excited to share with you all of it and I hope you enjoy. So, the first hack is a DIY organizing box. So, first, uh, get your box and then you carton part that's a tissue roll you could use that, recycle that just put some glue gun ayan, nilalagyan natin ng glue gun kasi uh, magaan siya, so madaling mag move siya sa kanyang place, ayan, para secured lang, and then for the others naman hindi nyo na kailangan lagyan kasi usually mabibigat naman na yan, and then for these ito recycle lang natin, lalagyan niya ng milk before ni Hunter Ayan, gamitin na natin siya. And then, mga old lunchbox containers yan. So, let's just organize them. Ayan. So, you could put your paintbrushes, coloring materials, and markers. Para madali na rin siyang kunin. Like, for example, gusto mong mag-switch places, pumunta sa sala to do your arts and craft. Isang kuhanan na lang, diba? Ayan. So, usually, lalalagay natin dun sa ilalim yung mga sharp objects. Ayan. So, we'll just put it there. And then, you could also label your box. Yung name ng child. You could do that. And then, sometimes, ito ay do this kasi halimbawa may nagustuhan akong material. Minsan nakakalimutan ko yung label or where I got it. So, I just put them there para alam kong okay, ito yun. Specifically. So, I just cut the name ng car nasa cardboard. The next hack is regarding notebooks. It's a hack using erasers. If hindi nyo gusto yung pagpipil off ng mga presyo, ang simpleng uh, hack lang dyan is you use an eraser para nik na siya tignan. Ayan. Ganyan. For the next hack, using a plastic cover, you could just um, do the usual way of uh, wrapping notebooks. Although, hindi mo siya ibabalot sa buong notebooks. Isa-start mo lang siya doon sa may uh, gilid na part. So, do uh, make two of those, and then wrap it as usual. Yung the, the, the normal way that you wrap things, uh, or you wrap your notebooks. Hold mo lang. And then, you have a container for important papers. So, may instant pocket ka na for your papers. The next half we will be using naman Velcros. Ayan, I got that from National Bookstore. 17 pesos lang yan. Both sides na. Uh, we will use this to uh, secure our papers, our plastic covers, para hindi na kailangan dumamit ng tape. And we could just recycle it. So, kailangan medyo mas sobra lang yung pag-cut mo. And then, yung kabila, ikakat mo din siya ng 
ganun kahaba. Ayan. So, you could put it around the plastic cover or wrapper. And then, kabilang side. Ayan. Secured na siya. It's easy and you can recycle it. I am excited about this next hack because, again, we will be recycling. Okay, so all you need are uh, two, at least two cereal boxes. You just have to put them together. Ayan. Pwede actually three, pero right now, we could use two muna. And then, para mas secure siya, just put your hands inside the boxes para ma-press nyo siya. Dahan-dahan lang, medyo mainit. And then, get um, a ruler. And from the top, you put it down. Using a pencil, you mark it dun sa sides niya. Dapat pantay siya para mag-meet talaga yung lines when you cut it. Next, using a cutter, just cut the sides all around. So, maski sa harap. Make sure na pantay siya. Even, syempre, doon sa loob. Ayan. Ganyan lang. So, just try your best to make it straight. And then, of course, doon din sa may harap. Ayan. There. Linisin nyo lang yung sides. And then, you can wrap it na. There you go. Ang purpose nito is for stacking worksheets. Ta-da! Diba? It's more organized. Next naman is yung paggamit ng uh, water during painting time. Usually kasi pag ganyan yung ginagamit natin na lalagyan, natatapon. Tapos, wala na, nababasa na yung worksheet o kaya yung coloring book. So, all you have to do is put a cling wrap, ganyan, or a plastic wrapper, secure it para hindi na siya mahulog. Tapos, ilagay mo lang ng butas so the paintbrush can go inside. Ayan, so kahit mahulog siya, hindi siya matatapot. Next hack naman, using our flashcards. So, basically, para hindi siya mawala, tapos madali din siyang gamitin, basically, just use a ring binder. So, first, ipuncher nyo lang siya. Make sure na pantay lahat. Just set a mark. And then, simply, put the ring binder. Then, you can secure na hindi mawawala yung flashcards nyo. There you go. And last but not the least, using these hooks. I love these plastic hooks. So basically, lalagyan nyo lang doon yung mga flashcards nyo. Those are all my DIY flashcards in sight words. And that's the one we did. There you go! There you have it, guys. So we're done with our second episode of Artsy Nene Hacks. I hope may natutunan kayo ulit. Um, you'll be able to do it to your home classroom as well. Um, if you have suggestions or comments about our hacks today, please, please, please do put it on the comment section below. I'll see you on my next Artsy Nene Hacks. Bye!